All right, so big controversy over the so-called unauthorized biography of Herman Mashaba. It's now emerged that the book written by Prince Mashele was in fact paid for by Mashaba. The payment was confirmed in a statement released by Mashaba's political party, Action SA. The publisher, Jonathan Ball, has since withdrawn the book. But the questions around how this book was positioned as a frank, unbiased tell-all when it is in fact a paid-for biography has caused a fair amount of unhappiness. Well, the author, Prince Mashele, joins me now. And Prince, thank you so much for coming into studio. I do appreciate it. Before we chat, I just want to listen uh, to a conversation you had uh, with my colleague, Prof. J.J. Tabane, when he interviewed you about the book recently and he asked you about the funding issue. Let's take a listen. It looks like a very extensive piece of work. I mean, uh, did, did, you know, did the publisher simply pay you to do it? Or did you have to raise funds to do this? No, look, this is not the first book I've written, by the way. I Believe it or not, I fund my own books. How do I fund my own books? I'm a consultant. I work. Yeah. So I raise money um, to do intellectual work. This book was um, funded like, like that. I funded my, my own project. So Masha was so, not involved in the fundraising? No, Ma Masha was not involved in the, in, yeah. the, in the funding of the book. I funded the book myself. All right, so you say there Mashaba was not involved. Well, Mashaba has now said through ASA that he was involved and he did pay you. So I have to ask, why did you lie? Okay, <clears throat> let me start here. So what JJ said about the book is correct. He has read it and he has written on the front page of the book that is, this is an extensive book and it contains important but, information. But let's focus on the question. No, I'm, I'm going to answer it. Just why did you lie? Because no, you did lie. Clearly. Let me explain. Did you lie? No, let me explain. Let me answer. But it's can an I... easy one. You can say, you know what? I told JJ Mashaba was not involved in the funding, but actually he was, or Mashaba's still lying. It's, it's... Can I answer? You can answer. Okay, excellent. When I spoke to JJ, I was under legal obligation not to, re to reveal that Mashaba was part of the funding of the project. Who, told, who put that legal obligation on you? It's a contract with that who? I signed. Who told you to keep quiet about it? No, it's a contract I signed uh, with Mashaba. Okay. It has a, a non-disclosure regime. Why, uh, a regime. why the, were you bound not to talk about the money? Because I signed a contract. But why did you sign the contract saying there's no money involved? It, 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 this contract was signed in 2019, right? But you see, you're still not answering my first question or now my second one. I no, don't no, understand no, okay. why you then had to lie. Because you could have said, Judge, I can't answer that. That's yes, all you had to do. <coughs> why didn't you do that? Contracts have non-disclosure uh, regimes. Yes, but they don't tell you you have to lie because you are ultimately held to account for your own words. You can say, JJ, with respect, no comment. Instead, you told JJ a lie, didn't you? Well, maybe I should have said no comment, but I'm telling you why I said that. I, uh, what I said. So, uh, okay. So let me just—you're explaining why you felt compelled to lie. I had to protect myself legally because I had signed a non-disclosure agreement. But you didn't have to lie. But sir, I've answered you. But you didn't have to lie. So what must I say more? You said you should say no. I didn't have to lie. I got it wrong. I'm sorry. It's that simple, actually. Well, if I have to apologize for what I have said. I apologize. Do you apologize for lying? I apologize for not revealing that I was under legal obligation. Why was it so important <clears throat> for the money aspect of this book not to be an open issue? And this I need to clarify. It's very important the question you're asking. I had no funding agreement with Herman Marshall. I had a research agreement which covered many aspects. So it, the funding part was a part of a wider agreement, right? Which I signed before I actually had a publisher for the book. Because we needed to protect the, the confidentiality of the research work for the years that it took place. The publisher came later, last year actually, and I signed a separate agreement with the publisher. Sure. And the publisher did not ask me to reveal the source of the funding of the project, number one. Did they know you were getting funds? Number two, number two there was no provision, and as we speak now, mm -hmm. there is no provision in the contract I signed with the publisher 
that I must reveal the source of the funding of the project. Which is why, by the way, even as they have pulled the project, the book off the shelves, they cannot say, here is a provision in the contract we signed with you mm. that you contravene. They say, I breached trust. My relationship with the publisher had, was not based on trust. It was based on actual and concrete contractual agree agreements, okay. so which I did not breach. So let me, let me understand this. You had a preceding agreement with Herman Mashaba. Yes. Okay. That dates back to 2019. There was money involved, clearly, because that is... Uh, it's been very clearly stated by Action SA that the book was paid for by Herman Mashaba. Um, then you signed a deal with a publisher, but you didn't tell the publisher at the time, look, I just need you to know that I'm being paid to do this work, which isn't necessarily a problem <coughs> until we come to the part <laughs> where the publisher calls this unauthorized. Unauthorized means that you didn't have input or payment or the nod, essentially, from the subject. But clearly, if you were getting payment, which you were, it was not unauthorized. Yeah, the, so by, why didn't you say, look, it's not unauthorized, guys? Yeah, two things. Uh, by the way, I never got payment. You know, this idea that I got 12 million into my pocket, it's, it's not true. But you got payment what, from Herman Mishaba, no, because he says you have. I did not get payment. Did you what get happened? no money at all? No, let me explain. Uh, you're not giving me a chance I, to I just, answer. Uh, your, your answers aren't very focused. That's why I'm trying to clarify. Well, you can as well answer yourself, but let me answer your question, Sally. Sally, I never got payment from uh, him and Mashab. What, this is what happened. Let me explain to you what happened so that you understand the money issue. I developed a budget myself detailing the research activities that would occur in the course of producing this book. Mm -hmm. And they were itemized, itemized, there were items detailed in that budget. So the point was to fund the research project. We had a loan agreement with Mashaba. As we speak, I owe Mashaba 12.5 million. How on earth the are you going to pay that back? The deal was this. You go conduct this study. You pay for all of these activities. When the book is sold, you pay me through royalties. You, you don't will, take a cent. Okay, I'm going to stop you. Explain? Yes, you. I get it. You You're don't take it a cent a from the royalties until I have claimed my, my loan. I've reclaimed my loan to you. And then you can only take a cent from royalties once I have my money back. That was the deal. Okay, I hear that. So this that. idea that I got, I got paid. It was a loan, and are you saying you owe Herman Mashaba money? Yes, I now? do. How much do you owe him? I owe him 12.5 million. And do you, are you aware of the publishing landscape in South Africa and how very little money people tend to make from publishing books? You, there's I've no way you're going to make 12 million I've rand. Published, I've published books before. Have you ever so made I, anything close to 12 million rand? I, the, the books that I've published uh, before, they have not. But uh, I, I had a deal with Mashaba that is going to get his money from the, from the royalties. So, so here's the reality. Whether it was a loan, as you say, or he paid you to write the book, the truth is you're in a very deep and connected relationship with someone that you are researching for a book, which is totally, totally fine until it's described as unauthorized, because nice. unauthorized speaks about uh, this is no holds barred, I'm not going to hold back if I find some dirt on this person, I'm going to give it all. Do you see how the trust has been compromised? I, you will say that if you haven't read the book. The publishers, by the way, they were shocked. There are parts of the book that they referred back to me and said, are you sure the Mashaba family won't have problems with this. If you had read the book and come across what is in the book, you wouldn't say that. And I said to them, I have, uh, the Mashaba family have seen this. So this idea that this book is a hagiograph can only be, uh, can only be peddled by someone who has not read the book. This book has sensitive information uh, about Mashaba. By the way, I haven't read the book, but I will tell yeah. you what someone who has read the book told me, someone I trust implicitly. And they said, it is, uh, it, there are uncomfortable moments, but at the end of the day, it's a good write-up of Herman Mashaba, though there are uncomfortable moments. And, and so if, here's if, the thing I want to check with you. If he, if you, he had this loan hanging over your head, mm -hmm. or you, paid, you were paid, whatever it is, there was money in return for this research project, which ultimately gave you the, the space to write the book. How can we believe you 
that you had final editorial say because you've already broken your word by lying to JJ. <coughs> Do you see the problem? You believe me by reading the book, number one. Number two, I have signed a contract that says I have the final word on the content of the book. And I am telling you, I've had the final word on the content of the book. If you read the book, you would actually believe that. So, okay, so you're saying the proof are, of the pudding is in the eating, exactly. read and the book the and thing, decide. People actually don't want to okay. talk about the contents of the book. You know why? Number one, the book has been in stores. They didn't read it from me. If you read the book, you yourself, by the way, you would not actually have taken the angle I'll tell or taken you what. because you no, would have no. found out. Let me, let me Can explain I to you. No, I've, I've got your point. You're saying if I read the book, I would withdraw all my concerns. And I wouldn't, and I'll tell you why. Because saying something is unauthorized is a problem if it's actually authorized. Do you Can or I not explain understand that? that? Can I explain the authorized, by the way? It's yes, very important. Sure. <clears throat> and this, by the way, uh, is what a guy called Brutus told the public, and he misled them. The title unauthorized didn't come from me. It came from the publishers. I have the evidence. And in do front. you know why? No, because no, no, they no, didn't know explain. that you were being paid. No, no, let me you explain. You can understand their mistake, can't you? No, no, let me explain. I gave them a title that had nothing to do with unauthorized. My preferred title was Herman Mashaba, The Outsider. And it's written I hear in you. correspondence. They told me that a book with the word unauthorized sells better it's catchy right then i realized that there could possibly be a, a a basis for confusion in order to explain for the reader to understand i wrote it in the preface what unauthorized means mm -hmm. which means that i had the final weight on weight on the book so I explained it's in the preface. If you had read That's the book, not, if you look you at the, would the dictionary have... definition of unauthorized, it is that you're not paid, uh, that you don't have the uh, blessing where is that, of the person. Where is that unpaid? The dictionary definitions. It is about you're doing unpaid. it without the authority. You're doing it without the authority and without the input. That's the definition. You clearly got input. Now, no, 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 uh, Sally, you are completely wrong. So, okay. I can tell you, you can open your dictionary. What you have said now is completely wrong. So why, this is what, uh, if it's unauthorized, why would you be paid? I don't understand. I have never been paid. You have been paid. You've got 12 million rand from Herman Mashaba. Where in my Mishaba. pocket? You've got 12 million rand from Herman Mashaba. You've told me that. You say it's a loan. No, I said, I you said. You have to pay him back, right? No, I said there was a loan agreement meant to finance the research of the of the project which loan agreement which loan i would have to pay back to him and myself that's not a payment i mean how could it be a payment if part of that by the way has gone to financing the research activities over a period of four years how do you interpret that as payment it's not a payment i was never paid do you do any uh, consultative work for Herman Mashaba? No, I don't. In any capacity? No. You're telling the truth? I don't do any consulting work for Herman Mashaba. That's what I'm telling you. Who owns the rights to this book? What happens now that it's been withdrawn? Can it, you still sell it? Who owns it? It's me. So Jonathan Ball, they have withdrawn their uh, name, which means they are handing back the manuscript because it's my work to me. I will put it under my armpit and run with it, and I'll decide what to do with it. I'm going to take a few days and a few weeks to think as to what am I going to do with my property. And when I have decided, I'll tell the public what I'm going to do with my property. I am very proud of the work I have done, number one. It's a work of quality. If you read the book, you will know what I'm talking about. Number two, I am very proud that Herman Mashaba opened himself to scrutiny. Because what I have said in the book about him, there are very few people, by the way, who would allow a critical researcher to say, to say that. And I'm very proud that as a black man, I have written a biography about another black human being. Most of our uh, biographers if, in South Africa, by the way, are written either by white uh, authors about blacks. If you publish that book again, you say it's your property, Will you leave out the word unauthorized from the cover? Oh, oh yes, because that, then I will have the full right. And, and I will not have a, someone to tell me that if you make it unauthorized, it will sell. I will give it my, my preferred title, which is what I wanted originally. So they gave it their title. Now, 
uh, it's as if I'm the one when they actually wrote to me and told me what the title should be. But it was your property. You should have pushed back. No. I gave them, I gave them a suggestion. They said unauthorized biography. Uh, unauthorized. I said, look, this is what I preferred. I even gave them an alternative, which they rejected. And ultimately, I said, anyway, they are the publisher. They have the right, according to the contract, by the way, they have a right to edit. And I had to comply with their contract. All right. Thank you for coming in and talking to us. I appreciate it. My pleasure. Author of the uh, biography on Herman Mashaba, also political analyst Prince Mashele, he says he got a 12.5 million rand loan from Herman Mashaba, which has to be repaid through royalties. It's his book, and he's adamant that he retained editorial control. Of course, Herman Mashaba is saying he has paid uh, for him to write that book, but... Prince Michelle is saying the proof of the pudding is in the eating. Read the book and you'll see that it is an unvarnished look at Herman Mashaba. Stay with us on SA Tonight.